I'm a senior at the Redwood Valley High School in Redwood Falls, Minnesota. I plan to attend the University of Minnesota Twin Cities next fall with a major in animal science pre-vet with aspirations to become a food animal veterinarian. My plan is, is I'd like to attend uh, the University of Crookston. I'd like to look into something maybe as an agriculture education just to you know, be able to teach other people about what farming is like, be able to you know, show other people the significance of it. I plan on going to Ridgewater College in Wilmer and I'm going for agronomy technology. I'm a junior in high school, at the Morris Area High School and uh, I live on a farm right now and after I graduate from high school I'll probably go to either Ridgewater or something with an ag department in college. I think of FFA as an organization where young students can learn through agriculture how to be leaders, how to work with others, how to go into career fields that will impact the nation's food supply. I didn't really grow up on a farm, but I have learned a lot of leadership out of being an FFA, and it's just good because you get to meet a lot of people, and you get to learn how to use group work. There's so many kids in FFA that don't live on a farm. You know, they don't live on a farm, but FFA is such a such a great organization. It really, it really helps, you know, the agriculture industry and really helping kids to get into it, get involved, and, and teach about it. I have a 38 head Hampshire Suffolk Cross U flock, which means that I have 38 mother sheep, and they just finished lambing, and so I have 65 baby lambs. I got interested in the sheep uh, business because when I was in 4-H about 11 years ago, that was the first 4-H project I ever took. And I just fell in love with showing sheep and raising sheep. And now it's grown into its own business. And I've had some success with it. We're grain farmers. And we treat seed. And we're just starting that this year. And before that, we've been selling seed. We used to have our own dairy farm, but that was when I was, I was real young. And my dad actually is now the uh, head supervisor of the dairy herd at the WCRLC, the research center in Morris. And I mean, dairy farming has always been such a a huge factor in my life. I guess I couldn't, it was tough to go without it. So I, I started working for a dairy farmer uh, just south of Morris there and from milking the cows to feeding calves and you know just there's a lot of work behind that glass of milk that you pour in the morning for breakfast. It's, it's two times a day every day Christmas Christmas morning there's those cows still have to be milked and it's it's hard work but it's really the work really pays off in the end just to see the act the overall factor and how you impact other people. Since I've been young, I've always saw how it's just farmer, keep, you know, keeps getting bigger and bigger, and new technologies keep coming. And I want to be a part of that, and I feel like you know, you got to go away and learn it, and come back. You know, you got to stay a part of it. I keep an electronic record book of everything that happens with my ewes, so I have a ewes ear tag number written in the electronic software, and I can track back all the years that she's ever had lambs and I can track her production and how she's doing and who her genetic line is so that I can help become more efficient at raising lambs. I also use QuickBooks to manage my financial portfolio. There's so much technology out there that has really benefited the dairy industry with robotic milkers where the farmer doesn't even have to milk the cow anymore. It's just all robotic and the cow, the cow treatment has gotten so much better. And There's so many new things that technology for tractors and equipment like the auto steer. So you'll get into your tractor and you got there's a little record button and so you'll click that and you'll do it basically exactly how you want to and then the GPS you just program it and the satellite will pick it up and it'll find the track and it'll just steer your tractor right there. Yeah you can read your newspaper while you're <laughs> driving. The internet. <laughs> I use Facebook all the time. <laughs> Uh, that's actually how our region officer team communicated almost all the time as we sent Facebook messages because now we have it on our smartphones and so I can check Facebook whenever I'd like to and we um, can do different uh, The use of technology has really really gotten helpful it's just connecting with other people I mean Facebook, cell phones, all that different e email, all that different stuff that you can use to really connect with somebody has made it easy. I mean, you're not driving forever just so you can see them. You can, I mean, the Skype with webcams now, you can. Ten years down the road, I'd like to see myself in rural Minnesota. Uh, I don't really have a preference where in rural Minnesota because I want to be back in a small town community that needs 
food animal veterinarians. Everybody in the world, there isn't one person that doesn't rely on agriculture. Everybody needs to eat. You know, I've always wanted to farm and I like the outdoors and the different jobs, the varieties that just keep rotating as you're farming. I'm pretty positive that I'm going to be able to find a job in my career because there's always openings in agriculture. It's really cool to know that you're, you know, you're a part of, you know, feeding, feeding the people that, you know, are really in this world that need to be fed and just to know that you have a, a pretty significant role in that is just pretty, pretty neat. And so that's what I want to do.